Hey friends, Ryan Dorn here, your global sales coach. Hope you're having a great week. Hey, I've got some stats I want to read for you. I do that now and again. Were you aware of this? 3% of people out there are actively buying something. 40% of people out there are poised to begin buying something. 56% are not ready to buy much of anything. 1%, we can't even hardly track them. There's stats all over the internet to prove this. Steve, Vor uh, Steve Richards from Voresight Consulting um, did a study a few years back that almost mimicked this exact statistical phenomenon. So we've got to recognize, friends, that when we're selling out there, we're actively selling, that we're looking at 56% of people aren't ready to do a whole lot of anything. That's why sales is a game of math. It's a glorious game of math. And we've got to recognize that even though we want sales to be all about relationships, it's about, it's about math in the beginning. Do you have enough people on your prospect list to get to the number of meetings that you need, to get to the number of closed deals that you need, to get to the goal you need to make your bonus? When you recognize that well over 50% of people are not ready to buy anything, that means you have to throw away 50 some percent of your prospect list. Now, it doesn't mean you shouldn't call on them. It just means you have to mathematically eliminate them. Think about this, friends. We've talked about sales math a hundred times. Are you working enough prospects to get to the number of meetings that you need to get to the number of deals that you need to get to the goal you need to make your bonus or not get fired or whatever the circumstance is? When you know this, when you know that 50 some percent of the people you're going to call on, no matter what you do, are probably not going to be interested, you probably need to double the number of people on your prospect list. Now, I know that it's pretty scary to even think that. Are you serious? I'm like, I'm prospecting 50 now, I need 100? Well, when you start working math to your advantage, and I'm no mathematician, don't get me wrong, when you start working math to your advantage, what I have found is your pipeline stays fuller. Your meeting calendar stays fuller. You get more deals, you get to quota more often. You've got to wrap your head around the simple fact that 50 some odd percent of people out there are not ready to buy a whole lot of anything. And when you figure that out and you wrap your head around your sales math, friends, all of a sudden you will take your sales life to places you never dreamed possible. Don't forget, I mean, if sales was easy, everybody would be doing it. <laughs> it's not easy, it's a tough racket, I get it. Friends, we are the chosen few. That's why when you say to people, they say, what do you do for a living? And you say, oh, I'm in sales. They're like, oh, like you smell bad. Oh, really? Oh, I'd never be able to do that. Yeah, because I'm the chosen few. We're the Jedi warriors out there that are selling stuff. And guess what, friends? This career of sales and marketing has fed my family for a lifetime, and it will be good to you too. Just figure out ways to get bigger, better, and better every single day. Hey, friends, if I could be of help to you, love to speak at your national sales conference, inspire and motivate you to sales success, reach out to me over at ryandorn.com. All right, we'll see you next week.